Aha! Oh, it's different now. Okay. Greetings. Hello. How's everybody doing? Hopefully, uh, sorry. Let me just adjust this a little bit. Hopefully we'll start to get people trickling in as, uh, as I get rolling. All right. All right, I got at least one person with me, so I know I'm good. Welcome. Uh, good evening. Happy May 16th to you. Hope you're doing great. And here we go. All right. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. Coming by. That's all I got. Wow. All right. <laughs> thanks for thanks for tuning in. Tuning in. So how's it sounding so far? Because uh, this is a little different setup than last time. I I'm not using a microphone plugged into the iPad at all. I'm just using the microphone right on the sucker. Hopefully it sounds good enough. If it, if it doesn't, I can run and grab a mic, but I figure it's probably, probably all right. Man, it was, it was awesome to get out today. Did you get outside? Um, I biked to the harbor in the afternoon and there were, there were a lot of people and people were, even though it was outdoors, there were a lot of people who were masked. So it was uh, it was good to see that people were still taking it seriously. 
but um, I think it's about six or seven miles from my house to the Outer Harbor. So, um, and I biked all the way down to the bike trail to where the uh, Coast Guard Station is and by the Nature Preserve. And the trees are just, just starting to get going, so. All right. Here's one from a uh, CD from about 15 years ago. The song's called Smiling Through. Okay, feedback. How's the audio? How's it sound? I can see how it looks because it's staring back at me. But can anybody let me know what you're hearing? Hello? Good, okay. Hello, hi Lori. Sounds good, okay, good. Oh, hey Shauna, I got a song for you. I practiced it and everything. <laughs> this 
song is called Orion. Uh, it's really funny. Some songs I remember writing them and some songs I really don't. Or I remember just little bits. I don't, I mean, of course, this was written uh, coming up on 15, 16, 17, 18 years ago. So, but I don't really remember strongly writing it, but I do remember recording it. And it's, um, we used, I used a more of a distorted guitar setting for the recorder version, which is on uh, the Things I Used to Know CD. And, oh good, thanks Lori, we hear you, good. I used more of a distorted guitar, which was kind of gave it like a little bit of an edge, even though the vocal is not super aggressive, the vocal's kind of mellow. But the song's called Orion, and eh, just for the heck of it, I'll, I'll tell you the lyric. So, um, it starts, he's like, he is like an elevator that ends on five. You might want to step to the side, find another way to the top, find another way to the top. Oh shit, find another way to the top, shed it all, rip it up, shed it all, and never stop. Um, and then the br little bridge part is, Seek what makes your heart sing. Hold it close. Keep it with you in case you break on through. And then break on through being the chorus, which is Orion. Someday I'm going to grab your belt. Referring to the Orion constellation and Orion's belt. So Orion, someday I'm going to grab your belt. Orion as all of my tears melt. Andromeda, I'm going to see you soon. I'm launching from the moon, Orion. And then the second verse after the chorus is um, 50 million years. 50 million years is a long time lined side by side to 7.5. Just like the average lifespan. Although people live longer and people live shorter and people live, but they can definitely live longer. 50 million years is a long time lined side by side to 7.5. Numbers don't lie. There's hardly time to find the ground you stand on before you die. All right, it's a little morbid. Um, but seek what makes your heart sing. Hold it close, keep it with you in case you break on through. And then the chorus again is, Orion, someday I'm going to grab your belt as all my tears mount. Andromeda, I'm going to see you soon. I'm launching for the moon. Orion. There you have it. Here we go. Hope it's good. Ah. Uh -huh.
So right. Oh good, I'm glad it sticks in your head, Shauna. That makes me happy. All right, well, I, I don't want to um, break the tradition, so let me share with you what I'm drinking. This is um, Great Lakes, Great Lakes Lemon Hefeweizen. Thanks, Shauna. It's, um, it's a lemon Hefeweizen. Well, oh, a Hefeweizen that is German for white wheat. So it's a lemony white wheat, like a, like a better Blue Moon or like a Who Garden. Um, people around here call it Ho Garden, but it's called Who Garden. That's how you really say it. Beer snob. And um, anyway, Great Lakes, I like their Edmund Fitzgerald too. I believe they're in Cleveland. And I used to play Cleveland all the time and um, they had it on tap at the Barking Spider Tavern which I miss. The Barking Spider closed a couple years back, but um, that was one of my favorites. And before the show started to calm my shaky hands, I had a Belgian beer called Dolteve. And you see that little 10 there? That's for the 10% alcohol. Holy crap. This sucker will rip your block off. It's so good though. Hey, Thornhill, Ontario. Hi, Joe. How you doing? Welcome. Thank you. Okay. I better make it good now. So I've been trying to vary up the songs a little bit with doing the home shows. So this is a song from um, my CD called Nice Mouth. And uh, the song is called Big Show. The Big Show being life. Come on, come, come on, 
for. Come on, come on, come, come on, come on. To the big show, big show. Come on, come, come on, come on. so much for joining me this this fine spring evening i got the windows closed here <laughs> so my neighbors don't uh i mean i'm sure they hear me but they don't hear me like blasting welcome to the red room i got to be careful not to disturb my light lighting design otherwise uh it'll fall down from the chandelier but i wanted to enhance the experience for you if i could Give you a little dimensionality, you know, a little foreground, middle ground, then background, and the dimming light of the of the day into the evening. Before we go any further, let's say a collective thank you to all of the people who are who must work through this um, pandemic. I'm sure there are lots of people who do not want to work, but they have what are considered critical jobs. And um, so I thank you to them for doing really hard work in a really hard time. And shout out as always to my friend Kim, who is an overnight, overnight ER nurse. And um, she's doing well. She said it, it has kind of, uh, she works at one of the major downtown Buffalo hospitals. She said it has kind of leveled off. It's not receding, but it's like they've got the rhythm for how they deal with patients. And um, so at least there, there, there's, there's that. There's some, I don't want to say normalcy to it, but they, 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 they were in the game and um, in the game, I don't know, even know what that means. They, they, they have got a, it's a little more structured now. Okay, I'll stop talking and start singing. Thanks, Nicole. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's see, what should we do? Let's do... Let's do, I'm looking over the list here. Yeah, okay, what the heck, let's do a James Taylor. I love James Taylor. I've been listening to a lot of James Taylor this week. There's a song of his that's not a popular song, like it's an end of album song. I think it's on Gorilla called Golden Moments. And oh, I just love it so much. It's, it's so beautiful. It's just an acoustic song with harp. So I've been thinking about if I could 
find, I know a harp player in Rochester who I could approach if I wanted to do harp, but harp and acoustic guitar are really, really cool together. Now this song that he, when he recorded this song, it didn't have harp, but you know, but there was a lot of harp on his first record. Is a young cowboy who lives on the range. His horse and his saddle are his only companions. He works in the saddle and he sleeps in the canyons. She's waiting for, waiting for summer. His pastures to change. Wow, I have not practiced this in a while. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that one because I totally screwed it up. Super sorry. Okay, but I will do another James Taylor. You can't play the game and you can act out the part, but you know it wasn't written for you. Tell me, how can you stand there with your broken heart? Shame to play the fool. One thing can lead to another. He doesn't take any sacrifice. Oh, father and mother and sister and brother. If it feels nice, don't think twice. Shine with the people you love with love. Show them the way that you feel. Things are gonna be just fine if you want it will. Do as I say, yeah, shine with It's true what they say about the squeaky wheel Always getting grace Better to shower the people you love with love Show them the way that you feel Things are gonna be just fine if you want I'd like to do to you shower the people you love with love show them the way that you feel things are gonna be much better if you want it will
James Taylor, woohoo! Shout out the people. I'm very sorry about the false start on Sweet Baby James. I've played Sweet Baby James many times, but apparently tonight the myriad chord changes escaped me. I learned from a couple of the other Facebook live shows like that I should really stick with songs that I'm currently practicing because you try to pull one out of uh, nowhere and it doesn't always go well. Thanks, Mary. Really appreciate it. Nice to see you. Okay. So, let's see. What should we do next? Okay, so this is kind of... This is a song from around 2005. I did a CD called Red, and the song's called Go Madeline. And it's got a very long lyric. It's a story lyric. I don't always do story lyrics, but this one has a lot of verses and it is like a chronological linear story. It's not, it's not exactly Bob Dylan-esque, but it is like not dissimilar from the, the way he writes those kind of longer narratives. Um, I tend to favor a little tighter pop format, but But this one's on the longer side. So if you, if you need if you need a bathroom break, now's your chance. Go Madeline is the name of the song.
religion, he's no religion. She's free from his power, he's got no answers. Vision, no religion. She's got a rod. Could be in her arms. She's got a brilliant bag of charms and more dreams than you, but he doesn't want anything from him that he'd have to lose that you keep on the shelf. She wants to know what he wants for himself. You could be mine. That was a fun one to write and record because at the time I was playing on the side in a Hank Williams Sr. tribute group. And um, so like I was kind of getting into these sort of country-esque little uh, exploring old time country. And then um, it started coming out in, in some of my own songs. And I recorded with a pedal steel player named Ken Peterson, really talented guy, Buffalo guy. He... He absolutely could have gone pro. He he was offered jobs to tour, but he, um, and I understand this, he just didn't want to deal with the instability of a music career where the jobs kind of come and go. But he was absolutely talented enough to be a touring pedal steel player, which is a kind of like a, do you know, do you know the instrument I'm talking about? Like you play it with a, um, a slide and it's a, a sit down instrument and it's like laid flat. It's a it's basically a guitar like laid flat but with extra strings and it's tuned usually to, to a particular kind of key and you play it with a steel bar and there's also foot pedals that do different adjustments and all the pedal steel guitars are different like the different pedals do different things on different guitars and you can even set them up the way you want them so like if you want to do like a bend, like, like, okay, like on a guitar, you do a bend, like, you know, okay, so that's a bend on a guitar, right? But like on a pedal steel, there is no bend when, cause you're playing with this slide. So you push a pedal that makes the string bend. So you can do like a boy, you know, little tricks. Anyway, I am very tangential. <laughs> Hey Mary, I see your request for Hello Radio. I appreciate that you asked for it. I I'm trying to stick to songs that I'm that I'm currently practicing so that I don't really badly butcher them. I will do Hello Radio the next time I do a live show. I promise. It'll probably be two weeks from now. I'll do Hello Radio because I need um, the drum machine. I need drum machine accompaniment to keep the beat in between. But thank you for asking. That that is a compliment in itself. Thank you. All right. Let's do, um, 
Oh, thanks, Suzanne. Okay, I gotta do Hello Radio next time. It's really tricky, because, okay, like, here's, here's an example. Okay, like, it's... Well, I haven't done it in a while. See, that's why you practice. So, like, on guitar, that's all there is. There's no, nothing else anchoring it. Hello, radio, when will you love me? I've been, it's really hard, I've been saying my heart out for years. I think I might be doing it. Hello, radio, can't you? Salt of my tears. Hello, radio. Hello. Hello. Hello, radio. Hello. Hello. Hello, radio. And then there's an instrumental section. Let's see if I remember it. That's the best I can do for the moment. I hope I hope that was uh, at least uh, not horrible. <laughs> but next time I'll have the drum machine and then oh I got a yay okay thanks that means a lot thank you very much. But next time I'll have the drum machine and that will keep the time for me and then like when the guitar drops out the song is still going. It's weird. There's a few. Uh, there's a small handful of songs that I wrote around just like the drum beat where the guitar comes in and comes out. April Again is a song that I wrote on, um, for the Things I Used to Know CD. And like, if you don't have the beat, it just falls apart because sometimes when there's no guitar, it's just the beat. So anyway, does that make sense? Thank you. Okay, this one <laughs> is by request from my mom from All Star Heart. It's called All My Life. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mary. So this song, 
believe it or not, is about my, among all the things, it, it's kind of a mix of things, but it's partly about my encounter with, uh, my first encounter with spirits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they appear to be a real thing. I had an interaction with one where I was tickled, literally physically tickled when I was um, not expecting to be, but it was very joyful and um, positive and loving and like everything good, like no, nothing scary about it. It was really amazing. So uh, what's the lyric in the song that relates to that? Um, okay, so in the bridge section, the middle section of the song, it says, um, will we be together when this life is through? Is there anything that I can do? I had a visitor I felt but could not see because my tickler visitor was unseen. I had a visitor I felt I had a visitor I felt but could not see and I don't know what it means but it must mean something. And that was when I was trying to kind of figure out why this had happened. If it was possible to know why it had happened, but really the meaning to me over time is that we are we are immortal souls. That's my belief. I can't prove it, but we are immortal souls in human shells. We go on. This isn't all there is. I hope that's I hope that's helpful. And then the chorus is all my life. Anyway. So that's 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 the mini. I fell 
All my life. Hello, hello. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If by chance you've never seen me perform before, my name is Rob Falgiano, and I'm a singer-songwriter guy in Buffalo, New York. And uh, I have said before, I've done, this is the third time I've done a live stream. It's weird. I'm not gonna lie, it's totally weird because there's no, I can't see you at all. Like, and part of the joy of live performance and I've done a lot of bar gigs in the last bunch of years. A lot of the joy of the live performance is like you look out and you catch someone, like even just like tapping their foot. Like I, I just, I, I pick it up like, oh, that guy, okay, all right, that guy's with me, you know, or that girl or whatever. And you don't get any of that with this. So you kind of have to like talk yourself into it. And I think it's weird to talk to a camera like, that's part of what I think is kind of what's going a little wrong with society. Like, everybody, like, talks to their cameras, but, like, uh, socialization is getting weird. Anyway, whatever. I'll, I'll try to leave the soapbox out, but... So it's strange, because I don't have any real strong feedback from performing this way. Though I definitely, um, I need it. I mean, I need to to sing and I try to sing every day and if anybody is enjoying it that makes me really happy so thank you very much okay so I'd like to do a song called you can't have it kind of a working <laughs> it's a working man song um, it's about the man it's about uh, the man and what they want from you at work and um, the, basically the tagline is, you can't have it, you can't have my soul. Like, no job is worth all of your being. Easier said than done sometimes, but you know what I mean. And it's a little hard to play, so um, if I make funny faces because I'm struggling, <laughs> try to forgive me. Yeah. 
you can't have it. My soul. I mean, you know, no offense. Not you personally. The man. The man. So I don't know about you guys, but I really, really felt what we're going through this week. Like in the middle of the week was like, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday. I remember just waking up and being like, oh my God, how long is this thing going to go on? It was just, yeah, like the feeling really sunk in. And I think it's going to be a while. But even... Even with that, there were some really nice things this week. Like I, I went to, um, I was starting to run low on beer, which is my therapy. And I, I went to Premier Liquor and picked up a bunch of stuff. And um, there was a young guy and I had uh, the shopping cart and I already had it like half full. I, I bought a ridiculous amount of beer. I bought a stupid amount of beer. I'm not even gonna tell you what I spent because I bought all, all of this crap, all this crap shit that I love, like this Belgian shit, you know? And, um, doesn't matter, right? I mean, you know, if you could, I mean, if you can pay for it, but I mean, and there was a young guy who worked there and he was like, oh, are you going to get this or that? Or you want to try this? And like, he was like, he's doing a sale pitch in his mask from six feet away. And I was in my mask and I was like, not really in the mood for it. And, I, and he annoyed me, and like, I still liked it. <laughs> I was like, God, God bless you for annoying me. Do you know what I mean? Like, God bless us both for you being able to, for us both being able to be here, and you, for, for you to annoy me. And then, yeah, it was the same thing at the counter, you know, with the, with the guy checking out. It was like, it took a really long time, it seemed, to check out. And I was just like, God bless us for like this, um, just being here, even if I'm wishing you would check me out faster. But really, truly, that's really how I felt. Okay, finger picking song. Let's see how this goes.
I mean, it is enough, but it's just for that particular song. I'm bummed that it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I'd love to go biking again. I might go I might go biking again tonight, depending on how things go. Okay. So this is a song for the next CD. Um, it's a reggae song. I've written a few over the years. This one's called Terra.
like she's speaking in a dream. Time doesn't move the branches bad. She says she'll see me to the end. Where are you going, Tara? Can I come? I'll follow you into the sun. And when the heat steals water from my eyes, finally I'm satisfied. I'll be satisfied. Tara. All right. I've got my cheat sheet here. Let's see. How about that's a good one. Okay. When I see you.
right. Oh, I got a message it's on my phone. What is it? Fun show. You know what? <laughs> I can't I can't read it because my eyes are getting bad. So I can't read it. Oh well. I mean, I can almost read it, but I do not need my magnifiers, and it's not around, so I don't know. Anyway. So 9.22, well, maybe a couple more and call it a night. Thank you so much for joining me. Woo. 
Yeah, I'm feeling that beer. I'm feeling that 10%er. <laughs> it was strong, but it was really tasty. All right. So. <laughs> Okay, this song's called A Little Bit of Shake It. It's also from Red. I was kind of listening a little more to Red the last the week, last week or two, because for some reason it's not like my favorite record among, among my own recordings, probably because it was recorded under duress when the recording studio I was working at in Ontario was closing. So it's like they were trying to help me out by keep by staying open for the duration of my CD. So there was like a time crunch and it was like s super not ideal circumstances. This was around 04. So, but then I, I listened back and there's like a bunch of songs off the CD I really like. But it's weird how Sometimes music, certain music is tied to maybe a tough time in your life, so even though you like the music, you sometimes have trouble listening to it. But anyway, so I'm kind of rediscovering some of the songs off Red, and this is one of them, and um, I do like it, so uh, <laughs> I guess I did all right.
I know. <laughs> Ridiculous, right? Okay. How's everybody doing? Everybody's gone quiet. Everybody okay? Are you okay? All right, so one for the road. Thank you very much for checking in with me. I really appreciate it. Anytime, anytime someone gives you their, their time is um, an honor, and I hope you and yours are doing well. And I hope, uh, I think it's gonna be a while before we get back to any kind of normalcy, but I hope that um, everybody you care about is safe and hanging in there. It's, it's, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a bit of a haul. Um, if you'd like to make a donation for today's show, you can send, um, I use PayPal, and if you go to, if you use contact at robfalgiano.com, I will make a charitable donation in your name from tonight's show. That's what I've been doing with the live shows. Um, 10 Lives, Cat Charity has gotten some money, and the National SPCA, and also um, the Sheldrake Ele Elephant Refuge in, um, I believe it's in South Africa, has also gotten the donations. So um, I would be happy to forward your donation to them. Okay, so let's see. What should we end with? What's a good one? Oh, I know. I got it. A summer song. Little Vision.
cry And the sight of people dying Of their own self-pity How unlikely What is happening? I had a little vision All right, that's it for me, everybody. I hope you have a really nice rest of your weekend. Take care of yourself. Stay safe and see you next time.